Hi, my name is Neil, and today I'm going to be telling you about days. So, let's say you went outside and you gathered data for weight and height. Let's say you did, for instance, just 10. Right? So, we just have this, right? But we can't really tell much from this. So, let's make a graph for visualization. And let's say you've gotten a bunch. Let's say your chart will look like this. So, you have this weight and height. And then you, you're given this person, uh, so someone asks, what, what is the height, what is the height of person 11 if weight of guy 11 equals 50 kg? So with this graph, so this, the techniques that you would use to solve this problem come from data science. So you, in this data, you can see there's a big giant clump of stuff over here. There's a big huge, giant clump of stuff over here so you so person 11 has like has this weight right and you want to predict their height so you can see so so just to make simple i'm just going to put a line so then the dot would be here and the height would be over here so the question is where would you actually use this in real life so let's say you monitor let's say uh you want to know if it's rainy tomorrow if it's going to be rainy tomorrow or if it's not going to be rain or if it's going to be sunshine tomorrow so that you'll know to prepare your your um changing area with a jacket or not so, same here, you would have to, t there would probably be around a hundred back factors act uh, to doing this when they actually do it in a television show. But, you know, but let's say you're just doing it at home and you measured the amount of rainfall yesterday uh yesterday it might have been this like 12 centimeters of water let's say you live in california not that much rain so and then you want to check how much clouds there were so let's say the clouds it was real cloudy Then, with this, you can tell that the clouds are really heavy. It was really rainy yesterday. You've got quite a lot. Let's say it was more or something. You've got quite a lot of rain. So you would say, in the past day, the, the amount of water and the clouds might have been like this. There's a few days which are all over the place, but that's okay. So, then you have the next day, and you can see this line, and you're like, and you're, and you're looking outside on that day, and you see the clouds are like, I don't know, they're a bit light. So then you can guess, the amount of rainfall might be maybe like 
one centimeter that day, then you would obviously not want to get your jacket. So something like that could be used in data science. So just to make it a bit clearer, let me give you another simple example. So you're in this party, right? And you're just serving tea, okay? And so let's, so Jeff, so there's Jeff, Bob, and Joe. So Joe takes this much tea, Bob takes a full glass of tea, and then Jeff has like a half glass of tea. So then this new, then this new, then Sally comes in to the party. And you're like, huh, with this data, and let's say all the other party members, you wanna try to uh, guess how much Sarah would like. So, and you plot it, um, you know, um, uh, age, the age, and then the amount of tea. So let's say Sally is 20. And then all of these people have their own age. So it might look like this. It's probably not like this, but I'm just making it to be, you know, here. Uh, so 20 might be up here. So drawing this line, you can tell the T is probably going to be this much. And then you can serve Sally that much. So. That is a basic explanation of data science and basic uses of why you would need it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I here am Neil Kumar. Thank you.